Okay, so I've published the map. <clears throat> I've published the Derisa map. Finally, um, I can already see like already thirty-eight people have played it, and I I've only published it a few minutes ago, which is crazy. Um, and I I did a bit of play testing, and I, I re-edited some stuff after the f uh, noticing some mistakes. But I thought I'd just do a playthrough uh, now. Um, so as you can see. I've added some text uh, at the start of the game just to help players, hopefully, um, give them at least some basic idea of what they're meant to do. Um, the good news is, it seems that zombies figured out how to climb the barriers at least the first time you play it, because I've had it where uh, they, I think if you restart the game, they they stop knowing how to climb over the barriers, and I've also had um, one or two barriers still not be climbable. I might just turn the volume down. Yeah, um, but this is good so far, and also, like, holy shit, playing at 60 frames per second is so much better than playing in the uh, editor itself. Um, this recording is probably only 30, but. It is playing at 60 and it's really smooth, which is really nice. Um, so I figured I'd just record a playthrough while it's published. Um, the good thing is, uh, even though it feels unsafe, you're actually quite safe up here, at least at the beginning, because your allies do a lot of killing. So it gives you a bit of time to warm up, read the uh, text in the sky. The text stays there until you jump off this platform, which is good. So. You have as much time to read it as you need. If you need to focus on the zombies, that's cool too. Oh no, oh no! Whoops. Oh, I just killed them both. But I can already see the map's getting like two star, it's got two star rating already, which is not very good. Um, I don't know if that's just because it, it's like only had a very small selection of ratings, but. Uh, hopefully it improves. Um, anyway, uh, I'll show you any... I'll just play through the map, to be honest, and I'll notify you of any updates I've made. I've I've lowered the fog a little bit, so it's a little less over, like, over the top here, so it's more low on the ground. Um, where are the zombies? Are they up? Where are they? Come on, man. So may are they uh where are they? Oh they are there and they just can't see me. Hmm. I have to go run there. There were some weird things I noticed the first time I play tested. Um let me just kill these guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I found the sweet spot for uh the zombie spawn frequency. Um, I think I mentioned that it was um, formerly 1.5 second cooldown, and I increased it to a 4 second cooldown, but that was too slow. So this is uh, 2.5 second cooldown. So it's still pretty intense because I want it to be intense. Um, uh, right. I forgot. Oh yeah. I remember what I was going to say was um, I noticed that your allies actually ended up taking these zip lines up here, which are only meant to be aesthetic. They're meant to be just cables, and they were using them. Um, and there was a zip line that you players themselves could use to go out of bounds that I thought I'd fix, but it turns out I could still use. And so I've done some more testing, and I'm pretty sure it's completely blocked off now. But. Uh, Okay. Holy shit, that's a lot of zombies. Right, give me a shotgun. It's weird playing in the actual game because I've got a few perks like a faster reload with double barrels and a faster crouch speed. Um, and just, oh my god, it's so much smoother really performs well, which I'm glad, because I was worried that I'd push the uh, the sort of lighting budget to its limit. 
but I evidently haven't. So, it looks like there's one zombie over there, which means I think that he's probably stuck, or he's just on the other side of the, uh, the barrier, which he might be. Yeah. So that's an issue, I think. If they decide, I don't know how it decides where the zombies spawn, but if they spawn over there, and the player doesn't realise, hopefully they look at their radar and see the one red dot. But, um, another thing, another issue I noticed was that for some reason I'd used a permanent objective marker here, and despite it working in the editor with scripts that to despawn, it just didn't in this, so it was always on, whether you turn the power on or not, so I've changed that to a regular objective marker. Um, yeah, was there anything else? A couple of lighting tweaks, um, but mostly it was alright. Um, and yeah, it's just really fun. Um, it's just really hoping that new players experience it with zombies that behave themselves and know how to climb through the through the, you know the walls and the windows because if they don't no wonder they give it a bad rating they're like where are the zombies and why aren't they climbing through it becomes like a bounty hunt of trying to find all the zombies in the windows oh there's another thing that was weird I noticed was um hang on The, up there in that window, there was a. Uh, if you went down the hallway instead of towards the window, there was just like open geometry, and the zombies would sometimes climb on it and then end up warping through that wall and then jumping down. So I made sure to block that up as well. Uh, I lowered this gate a bit as well. Just probably not low enough, but hoping so that uh, AI were more likely to shoot the door down. Anyway. Yeah, it's really fun. I like having the AI always on that uh, indicated. Feels a bit more like a multiplayer game. And they respawn. Two of them at least. Um, and I just hope the ratings creep back up because I had a lot of fun making this map and it's you know two years in the making I'm so happy I've got it published now but it'd be really shit if it gets just two stars like every map I make it's just how it is I think I thought this map would be at least remotely more clear than some of my maps like I get why Project Spider-Man uh, got poor ratings because it's not clear what to do um, but this one I th hope made it clear I guess if it's just too difficult too many zombies, but it can always be tweaked. But hey, um, if you guys play it, I hope you like it. So I'm just gonna keep keep playing, I guess. Um, let's see, uh, get a, let's get a gun. Notice the uh, the shotgun AI sometimes just yeets the other players across the map by shooting them. Get caught in their bullets. All right. Ah, come here. Where are they? Yeah, these guys die a lot, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. And these guys thankfully just queue up to get shot here. Hoping if players see a bit of a scuffed wall, they instantly realise it's a destructible wall. But the most important thing is just hoping that the windows will actually work. Um, I didn't mention the teleporters either in the uh, starting text. But hopefully people... I'm just hoping a lot and a lot. Hopefully people know to do stuff uh, that I designed. But I'm doubtful. But either way, I had fun, and I hope if you guys try it, you enjoy it. Especially if people who played the original Call of Duty game, and the map in World of War Zombies or Black Ops Zombies, if they play this, they should be able to figure out, you know, you walk in the teleporter and something will happen. The blue lights, that's where the box is. It said shoot the bears at the beginning, so if they shoot the bears, you know, something will happen. So... Hopefully, that's my catchphrase of this map. Hopefully, people figure out how to play it. 
Alright, let's go see if we can find some other guns. Ah, oh, crap. That's not open. Um, tell you what, we'll do the, um... We'll get some perks. Uh, we'll get some perks. I'm uh, hoping that I can, um... Oh, here's that gate I mentioned in my previous video. Um, because I haven't unlocked the gate yet, but... Um... If, uh, Steve64B updates his mod any further, I might be able to add, um... Some sort of ability to double tap and speed color in some... Some shape or form. Hopefully. Um... But anyway, uh, I'll pick up some grenades. This is one of my favorite rooms. I really like how it turned out. It's very simple, but... Yeah. Um... As long as you don't get trapped in here with your AI. Let's get the M MG42. Anyway, so what we got? We got ooh, two zombies in there on the other side of that wall. So that's a little annoying is that um, friendlies don't destroy this as much as I'd like them to. Sometimes they have done it, but not not, not guarantee. Might just have to further lower the gate. Um, right, we'll get quick revive. There you go. Or make it. <laughs> and we'll go get Juggernog. Right, I think this is the sort of the right amount of uh, blocking door, like gate doorways. Just these two, which were always blocked in Call of Duty. Um, and then the main one in the uh, courtyard so that you can actually camp there for a bit before you turn the power on. Um, this is probably my least favourite area because of the lighting. It just didn't work very well. I couldn't get it to work. Um, also, I'm going to have to try this on con not on console, but with a controller. See if it's really difficult. Because there is a big difference sometimes. Uh, proximity mines, or dancing bays, basically. Juggernog, which is a uh, body armor. Oh shit, 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 thank you AI. Some of these lights, I could set the render distance way down because you only see them when you're like really close, which is good. MG42 is OP. But yeah, I'm happy with how it came out, and just it's such a relief knowing how well it plays when it's published, like when it's playing the, the in full Far Cry 5 game instead of um, the editor. The edit, I mean, obviously, the editor is like running a game in a sort of window with all sorts of other crap. So, I'm not surprised that it's um, a little slow. Better that way around though than than having it all smooth in the other zone and playing it published and it's all shit. I'm gonna drive my heavy because I don't want to lose him. I'll tell you something I noticed that's cool is stuff like this where if your players are far away they can just kind of take shortcuts and join you immediately. Uh, right, I need to get some ammo for my LMG. But yeah, it's good fun. I enjoy it. I hope others do. Um, yeah. And I hope they just appreciate the detail and stuff. And the, it's obviously going to be a, a much bigger homage to people who've uh, played Call of Duty. Um, but it was my, I think it was my favorite zombies map, so... Yeah. Where are they going? I'm running over there. I really wish there was a way to uh, always the uh, en enemies to always know where you are. Rush point seems to be the best way to do it, um, but it's not perfect. Sometimes they just won't find you. Like if you start around down in that tunnel, it's unlikely that they'll find you. Okay, we'll go down here. And get some more ammo. 
Oh, we're loading again apparently. I'll make sure I try and use a teleporter at least once in this kind of round. Come here, man. The uh, directional indicator is quite helpful, though. Um, I really wish you could slow the zombies down. It's just insane how fast they run. Um, but oh well. Uh, getting stuck in doorways. There's not really much you can do about this. You just have to go a different way. Um, most of the time, there is a way that you can. Uh, we have one, two. Oh, I think we just died a new round. I thought we had a zombie that was stuck. I'll do the catwalk strategy for a bit. Even decorated in here, which I didn't show last time. Which is just a little bit of decoration, so it's not like blatantly obvious that it's just the edge of the map. Oh, I just got pushed off. But there's actually sufficient ammo now. Having um, how many ammo boxes are there? There's one down there, one here, um, one in teleporter A, one in teleporter C, a uh, B, sorry, one in the starting room, uh, and then there's a uh, one below that on each floor. So it's a shitload of ammo boxes basically, but it's enough now instead of having just three. There's actually enough ammo to uh, to get by, which is good. Yeah. I wonder if there are any wall weapons that I haven't shown yet. Um, got the sniper rifle. Again. What else could I get? I've got the Desert Eagle before. Leave my teammates alone. I think the heavy died. Yeah, he did. Alright. MP40 is one of my favorites. Yeah, can you climb up here? You can. That's cool. Not like the real game, but oh well. Let's camp in here for a bit. I think I may have just killed her by accident. I'll get a grenade. These spawn every 60 seconds, I think. Yeah. Another thing I like is that when players do respawn, because they spawn somewhere else, like far away, they kind of create some dynamic action over there, and you can hear the bullets in the background and stuff, especially with the heavies machine gun. And it just feels like a more expansive map, and more of a co-op kind of experience. It's quite cool. I'll try and use up all this ammo. Uh, where is this guy? Uh, let's just get the MP40 now. Right. Oh, hang on. I picked up the wrong gun. Yeah. I love the MP40. Ah! Let's do a teleporter, just to remind you. Cool. Teleporter one out of three. Uh, we'll do the 
Ah, we'll do this. We'll get this uh, wonder weapon spawned. We got one more zombie over there. Two. Ah, new round starting again. But uh, an element of having the heavy not respawn is it kind of it's kind of like a difficulty curve because oh no 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 don't throw those because you'll kill yourself. It's a difficulty curve because um, you know he survives a long time but eventually he stops surviving and it essentially means that it's harder without him because there's fewer players by your side. And right now I think it's just uh, two of us. But you see. Me camping here means that the other guy can't respawn because he's too close. He's sort of in our field of vision. But if I run over here, he'll probably respawn. Yeah, there you go. Yeah good fun map. I hope that people aren't super put off by the endless nature of it. I, I wrote that in the uh, text when you start so that they're kind of aware, like off the bat, this map is endless. You know, leave when you want or die. Oh, provide a positive rating if you enjoyed it, even if you die. That would be nice. And we'll get this other wonder weapon set up. Uh, one thing I haven't figured out how to solve, and I don't know if it's just how the game works, is um, uh, let's take this. Is there just the way um, lighting shadows just turn off after like 10 meters, um, and you can see the lighting through the wall? So like the green, you see the green from the speed color until you walk up to it, and then it disappears. The shadows start behaving themselves, so it's kind of annoying. I like this shotgun. As explosive as it is, it has no splash damage or friendly damage, which is helpful. It's also easy to miss. Proximity your minds are risky, you gotta put them definitely far out of the way of yourself and of AI, like friendlies. Alright, let's put one here. And then let's grab two more. And more body armor. Make sure. The there you go. Make sure you don't walk into it when it's triggered. It's good fun, I'm, I'm enjoying it, and I'm glad it's published. Um, but I'll probably leave it there for now, um, in terms of the recording, just because it's getting long. But you can sort of stay in here as long as you like, um, you know, pop on some metal music or something. I really wish I had a co-op friend to play with, because I think it would be a lot more fun in co-op. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you like the sound or look at the map, give it a try on PC, it's just called Der Riese, there it is, it's spelled there, um, yeah, and if you do like it, and you, when you play it, give it a positive rating, because it really helps me out, because a lot of my maps get really shit ratings, um, some of them I understand why, some of them are a bit like, why, I don't, don't know why, but, but yeah, cool, thanks for watching.